Sadly, Meta killed Facebook to succeed spatial workstation, one of the best free tools to do immersive 3D spatial audio for VR video games to succeed and VR warranty videos on Oculus TV and YouTube VR. This tutorial is a must if you need a reliable solution moving forward to mix 3D spatial audio. If you just got the Canon VR180 lens or the new Instar 360 camera, the next step is to learn how to do spatial audio. If you want to release your VR 180 or 360 videos in the meta version of the metaverse, it requires to have spatial audio, so there's no way to avoid it. This tutorial series will teach you step by step to master 3D spatial audio with the latest immersive tool. Let's go! Hey, what's up everybody? It's your boy Hugh here. If you are looking for a free solution to do spatial audio, the best way is still the Facebook 360 Spatial Workstation. Since you can no longer download it from the official website, here is the latest version from my Google Drive. I will continue hosting the download for the community. If you need a tutorial on how to use it, please refer to my tutorial right here. If you need help on YouTube VR release with the headlock audio support, check out this tutorial right here. This tutorial will teach you the best alternative I found, which is also the most affordable and complete. It includes a binaural preview, a VR headset plugin for head tracking mixing, a spatial limiter, and a spatial revert plugins. You can use it on any host, including Pro Tools, Reaper, Adobe Premiere, and Adobe Audition. In the first tutorial, we will focus on the professional audio engineer workflow, which is using a DAW, Digital Audio Workstation. In the next tutorial, we will learn how to mix it directly inside NLE like the Adobe Premiere or DaVinci Resolve. So don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. Even though you can technically do everything inside Adobe Premiere, I won't skip this tutorial. Understanding the basics is very, very important, especially if you are a filmmaker, not an audio engineer. Preparation Here we have our first Logdisk VR 180 edit shot on the Canon R5C with the Canon Dual Fisheye lens. Remember, you don't start spatial audio workflow until you can get a picture lock from your client. Here I go ahead and lock my edit. This is a live concert. We got individual mic output as audio stem from the venue audio engineer. As you see here, we have the left violin track and the right cello track. Also, we have a stereo mix here. This is your headlock audio. If you are running your own audio, remember to get timecode to have timecode sync. I have an in-depth tutorial here on how to get individual sound source using 32-bit audio and jamming the timecode into your Canon R5C or your VR camera of choice. Why having a timecode is important? Well, let me show you. Select all the audio and right-click, synchronize, select audio and hit OK. As you see, the actual syncing is still off. So don't just clap and hope for the best. Here we need to fix that. When I click here, the hamburger bar, check show audio time units. This enable less than a frame very fine adjustment. Listen and look at the waveform here. Align that waveform to your best ability like so. Okay, now all audio stems are synced. We are going to export them one by one. You can just use waveform audio as output format. In this simple setup, we have left violin and right cello, and the headlock stereo mix. Now we need to prepare the video. You don't need 3D for visual reference, so if you have a top and bottom 3D to see video shot on the Insta to see Pro 2 or the Titan, 
use VR projection effects to convert them into mono 360. Here we have left and right VR 180. We are first gonna render out the final release video. We use H.265 5760 by 2880 in resolution and 60 megabit per seconds. Set the VR to stereo left and right 180. Uncheck the audio as we don't need them. Now go ahead and render. Now we need to create a mono 360 reference video for the DAW. Most of the DAW do not understand 180 video, so it is easier to render them out as 260 to standardize the process. Change the sequence setting to monoscopic and 360. Now drop in VR projection effects. It should convert your VR 180 to mono 360. Control M to render the full sequence again. You also do not need high resolution here, so I only use 1920 by 960 resolution. H.264 will be fine, or you can use ProRes proxy. If you want smooth in VR headset playback later on inside your DAW, make sure the resolution is as low as it can be. Okay, now we have everything. You can close Premiere and open up your door. We are going to use Reaper here. Reaper is free and that is why we use it here, but if you find it useful, please consider paying for a license to support the amazing developers. It is very affordable. The next thing you need is Noisemaker's MB Bundle HD and MBI. Noisemaker is not free, but it's one of the best professional plugin soup and happen to be the cheapest. It has MB Verb and MB Limiter, very necessary audio plugins that the free Facebook audio workstation don't have. So go ahead and download a free version from Noisemaker website and follow along. Open Reaper and create a new project. First, drop in the proxy 360 video we just rendered into Reaper. Again, this video should be in small resolution H.264 or ProRes proxy codecs. Don't inject H.265 or ProRes 42 into Reaper. If you don't see the video windows, go to View and select Video. Immediately, turn off the scratch audio as we don't need them. Now import the stereo audio for headlock audio mix. Headlock audio mix is optional. For narrative VR films, it is recommended to use headlock audio as background music and VO. I pull down the volume to minus 6 dB as your headlock track will always be too loud in the mix. Start with minus 6 dB and drop the volume even more as needed. For live music or VR music video, we don't need headlock audio, so I just mute it for simplicity. Now drop in the individual audio stems, the violin and the cello you just rendered from Premiere. Remember, each sound source is a new track. A VR film usually has 20 to all the way 100 plus tracks, as each sound effects need to have its own track. Go ahead and hit the routing here on the violin track. We need to make this into 16 channel third order ambisonic. 16 channel will cover both MetaQuest release and YouTube VR. The goal here is to mix once and work on all platforms. Do the same thing with cello to turn it into 16 channels. Now go ahead and click effects button right here and add noise maker ambit pen VST plugin into both the violin and cello tracks. If you click this little eye icon here, show a transparent overlay here. You can move it and overlay on your video window exactly like so. Try to play it and it does not sound right because you cannot hear spatial audio without first turning it into binaural. Let's create a new track and name it Ambic Master. We are going to route all the ambisonic tracks into the Ambic Master. Go back the routing of each track, turn off Master Send here, and add a Send to Ambit Master instead. Make sure your audio send is multiple channel 1 to 16 as we are sending ambisonic to the Ambit Master. Now do the same with the cello tracks. Click Effects on Ambit Master and add Noisemaker's Ambit Head HD. 
Click this gear icon on the top right of the plugin and turn on settings. Here we target the Facebook 360. If you are releasing on YouTube, you want to hear what your mix sound like on YouTube without uploading on YouTube first. Choose YouTube 360 here. This is actually why I use the noise maker instead of the free Facebook audio spatial workstation. It allows me to mix based on platform as Google has entire different spatial audio setup compared to Meta. This is truly a one size fit all solution. Your input here is third order Amazonic. Four channel is first order and 16 channel is third order. YouTube is first order and Meta is close to third order. Just remember that you should be fine. Now, if you open back up and pan on the violin and move the dot around your head, you hear the audio travel around your head. Like AD audio on YouTube, very cool effects on its own. That's actually how to create AD audio, if you are into that kind of thing. Now, I will color each sound source and rename it. It is important to stay organized when you have hundreds of soundtracks. Click the gear icon here on the embed pen. First, the input should change to stereo as we are inputting a stereo track instead of a mono track. VO is usually mono and music is usually stereo. I change the color to yellow and name it violin. Add ambit pen on channel as well. Change it to stereo. Change the color to blue and name it to cello. Now use the panel here and the overlay panel as a reference to place your sound source. Here is the direction and here is the height of the audio. Violin is higher than the cello, so we need to place it to make the environment believable. Now listen to it. Use the ambit head on the ambit master track to pan your virtual mannequin head. You can hear the cello is pretty low no matter what direction you turn your head. So we increase the volume on the cello by about 4 dB and we drop the violin, which is way too loud, to about minor 1.5 dB. Now the mix is a lot more balanced. It sounds like Game of Thrones, which is pretty cool. It is okay to just mix with ambient head, but if you want the full immersion and mix inside a VR headset like the Meta Quest 2, especially clients are on set, we will try a special player from Noisemaker called the Ambit Eye. Ambit Eye is free, so go ahead and download it on their website. Ambit Eye is just like Adobe Premiere. It uses Steam VR to connect your Meta Quest 2 or any VR headset to your computer. So you need first to install Steam VR. After Steam VR is open and you go into Oculus Link, either use a USB C cable like I did here or use an Air Link. Now you can run Ambit Eye. It should detect your Meta Quest 2. Go ahead and open the same video file, go to Reaper and hit play. It should sync inside your Meta Quest 2. Looking around, you'll hear what the final mix sounds like. After we hear the mix inside Meta Quest 2, we spot several problems. The biggest problem is the audio clip when you look directly at the instrument. Since we love the loudest level right now, we can add a spatial limiter to prevent anything from clipping. Go to Ambit Master Track, add Ambit Limiter as an effect and make sure it goes before the Ambit Head. All effects has to be before Ambit Head. Let's limit the output to minor 1 dB, so nothing will be higher than minor 1 dB no matter where viewers are looking at. Now the second problem is the audio is very dry and sound recorded in a studio instead of an actual concert hall. There should be spatial reverb in an actual physical environment. So let's give viewer this real immersion by adding spatial reverb. Add ambit verb on ambit master track Move it before the limiter so the limiter can help final limit everything. Play it. This is way too much. Choose a different room. 
I personally absolutely love the Philharmonic concert hall reverb, but we still don't want to overdo it, so we turn the decay all the way down to 10, wet level to 30, keep it subtle. It sounds really nice. Now we have a professional mix. It is time to render it out and release it on Meta Quest 2. First, go to Ambit Master and turn off Ambit Head effects entirely. This is only for mixing preview, but not for the final render. Remember that this is very important. While Ambit Master is selected, go to File, Render, select track an entire project. Pick your location and name the file. Make sure manually type in 16 here at channels and hit render. You should see 16 channels are going. If not, something is wrong. Go back to check your routing. You can now also select the headlock audio and render it separately. Name it HL-Master and change it back to stereo. Render that as well. Now we are going to mux video and audio together to release on MetaQuest 2 or YouTube VR. Open up FB360 Encoder. FB360 Encoder is part of the old Facebook Spatial Workstation, but it is continued supported by Meta and you can download it free on the Meta website. For now, you can also just download it directly from my link in the YouTube description as that is the most stable version right now. Open FB360 Encoder. Select Facebook 180 video as this is a VR 180 video shot on the Canon. The format we have is a B format third order Ambit X. Remember, 16 channel is third order. Headlock stereo is optional, but if you need it, you drop your stereo HL render file right here. Video layout is left and right stereoscopic. For 260, you choose top and bottom stereoscopic or mono. Don't touch the focal thing and hit render. The final file can be uploaded directly onto Meta Oculus Media Studio. Follow this in-depth tutorial on how to release your content onto Oculus TV for the world to see. The same files can be uploaded onto Devo VR as well. Devo VR is a third-party player and it supports the same order and personic audio as official Meta Quest. For YouTube VR, select YouTube video with first order ambisonic. Still drop the SAM16 channel file here under B format third order ambit X. Do not use the headlock audio as YouTube currently does not support headlock audio. If you need headlock audio, the hack is to route the headlock audio into the first channel of the four channel ambisonic. That is a tutorial for another time. Pick left and right stereo for VR 180 and render. The final file can be uploaded directly onto YouTube as VR 180 video with full channel ambisonic audio. Okay, this is a pretty long but very necessary tutorial. I'm sure you have ton of questions if you are new to audio. Don't be shy and ask your question in the comment section down below. DM me on Instagram too if I did not get back to you in time. I did not cover how to animate your audio in Reaper because I already covered that in my original tutorial right here. So go check it out. The next tutorial will be transferring everything you just learned today and into Adobe Premiere and Adobe Audition. We will do all the mixing inside native Premiere or DaVinci Resolve instead of Reaver. If you like more tutorials like this, don't forget to subscribe and give this video a big thumb up. We work really hard to cover every single immersive filmmaking topic so you have everything you need to create immersive film for the metaverse. To continue to support this channel so you have free knowledge and feel like you have super power in VR production, Share this video on your social media and help us to grow. I will see you in the next tutorial or our next original VR release on the MetaQuest. Ciao.